George. The first name. Father. The father's first name. Carlton. Um, how may I help you? All right. Um, I just uh, had a general question about um, me being a holder of a so social security card. Uh huh. Um, could you address Could you address any questions based on that? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm authorized to use the card. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and um, Social Security is, is 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 the entity that granted the authorization to use the card. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh. uh so this this makes me aware, as I have been aware for for quite some time now, that um. Uh. It's 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 unusual for me to realize this. Uh, there's an agency that results as a result of me being a holder of of the card and and using the card. So I'm aware of the agency, and I just wanted to um, speak concerning that to maybe have an effect of where it would be reflected on the record that I'm acting as an agent. Um, in regards to the use of that card and the information information appearing on the card, um, that that information derives from a birth certificate. Uh, as all the questions you've asked me appears on the birth certificate. Yes, sir. And so, um, it's been it's been uh, expressed to me by the Trinidad and Tobago Embassy that that document, the birth certificate, is not personal identification. No. It's, it's, it's not information. The information on that document does not I personally identify the person who is authorized to use that document. Yes, it is. Excuse me? Yes, it is. The information appearing on the document on the birth certificate. Yes, the, the yes, that person is authorized to use that information. The holder of the birth certificate is authorized to use the birth certificate for certain doc for certain proof for whatever for whatever it's legally can be used for. Yes, that that person's use of that document is authorized. So that's an agency again. That's the, that's the primary agency. Yes, the Department of Vital Records. Right, and so I'm aware of the agency that exists in relationship between me as a man and the information that appears on these documents. This is legal information, and that um, my use of of, of any information such as a social security number in conjunction with the name appearing thereon will be used only within the bounds of that agency, meaning I will be operating as one that is authorized to use the information appearing on the social security card and nothing more. <clears throat> My understanding is that People that I know, my parents, my friends, my family, they they hold the same document that I'm holding. They have a social security card, but they operate in 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 a in a way where they assume liability in that they create debts. They work for the money. Usually, to gain employment, a social security number must be disclosed. Yes. And for the purposes of of, of reporting uh, to the Social Security Administration and the IRS. Correct. So I've spoken. Under a number. You're under a name. You're under a number. Right. So, so I've spoken to the IRS with the same conversation I'm having with you now um, concerning the use of this name in the public. So, when I use the name with that number. 
there are certain liabilities that are created that will be reported under the information or that name. But now, unlike most people, I do not want to work for money. I want to work for free. And this is a, a spiritual conviction and a, and a, and a religious a conviction and a duty that I'm bound to that I should live a life of charity and give it my all give everything of me give give everything of myself freely and basically give it as a gift not from me but from my maker so I don't want to work for the money but however employers require a social security number and the name basically they require the informa the information that appears on the social security card so being that the employers require this information I'm authorized to use that in information to give the employer for the purposes of, of, of the employer but it's not within my interest to draw or create any debts with that information because I'm giving the information to an employer it's not to uh, say I want to create debts in this name the employer creates the debt because they they are required by law to issue a paycheck but because I don't want to accept the paycheck I want to work for free I want to find out if there's a way I can arrange where if there's anything any funds paid to to that name that it could be either deposited directly with Social Security because I've already established an account for pay.gov to have 100% net pay deposited to the Bureau of Public Debt to pay down on the, on the national debt so this is what I've arranged in order for me not to uh, you know just have the funds sitting there I'll return the funds back to the federal government to pay down on the national debt so I'm not claiming that I'm taking money through that name or creating liabilities through that name because I'm just authorized to use the name I'm like an agent and an agent is not responsible for his actions unless he acts outside of his capacity as an agent therefore the acts of the agent are done on behalf of the principal now if you're telling me that Social Security is the principal or the federal government is the principal because they have granted the authority and authorized me to use this information and if there's any debts or liabilities created under in this name under the Social Security number. Right. Be then I do not volunteer, basic. I'm not volunteering to assume the responsibility of any liabilities or debts created in that name. That's all I'm saying. So. Don't you have an ID debt? Say that again? Under, it's only under identification debt. You have an ID debt. No, I don't understand. If someone has stored your identification. Right. That's the only way you won't be responsible. No, I'm saying I'm not volunteering to take the responsibility for something that I'm authorized to use. Because I'm just the agent, and under the law of agency, the principal is liable for the acts of the agent. Okay, but how now, can I help you, Mr. George? I just want to have that um reflected on my account as opposed to the majority of other people's accounts that they are not acting as an agent in respect to the use of that card and the information appearing thereon. I am acting as an agent and signing as an agent uh in conjunction with the use of the information appearing on that social security card. So I'm not claiming that the card is mine because on the back of the card it said it belongs to the Social Security Administration so it doesn't belong to me 
I'm holding property as a trustee, and uh, I will act as a trustee. I will not act as if you know this is my document here because I can I can get in trouble if I just do anything I feel I can do. So I know it's not my thing, so I have to act responsibly using a social security card, uh, uh, giving uh, social security admin, um, information, which is a number to, to, to people, but I'm doing it with my rights reserved and not breaching any fiduciary duty or, or any duty as a, as a trustee under, under that authorization to use that card. So when I sign, uh, based on my actions of using the card, I signed as authorized. That that my signature is now an authorized signature. Uh, most people they just put a signature. I'm stating on the signature line that it's an authorized signature. I spoke to the bank um, on the personal checks on personal checks. The signature is an authorized signature on the personal checks, but most people are not aware of this. The account holder's name appears on the check on the upper left-hand corner, but when the check is signed, it's signed by someone that is authorized to sign the check because it's not a line, it's microprint. And it states authorized signature, authorized signature, authorized signature, over and over. So most people are unaware that what they're signing is upon an authorized signature line for the account holder. And so that's another evidence of an agent capacity, an agency created there. But because of people's ignorance of this or they're not aware, they act and they sign outside of their capacity as agent and therefore legally become liable. Because once the agent acts outside of his capacity as an agent, he bears the liability, not the principal. But as long as he stays within his agency, the principal bears the liabilities. So this is the point that I'm making, that my use of the Social Security card uh, for, for quite some time now, and even now, and I will say, God willing, until the day I die, will be appropriate use of that card, which is I will be using it within the agency under which I'm granted the authority to use that card.